Hi guys. So this is just another short little five minute video showing how I cut the boards out on the bandsaw. Every propeller pattern has a template and I take that template and lay it down on these boards, trace it out, and then cut it out on the bandsaw as you see here. And this is going on an 80 inch propeller, so really long boards, but if you hold them like at their balance point, they really aren't that awkward to deal with. And they're a lot lighter than if I would have glued them all up together and then tried to cut it out as a block. So it's really not that hard to do at all. I know someone's gonna say something about my guard on my bandsaw being up so high. Um, I do that whenever I'm cutting the hub out. You can see that in some of the other videos. And then generally I just don't put it back down. It doesn't seem to cause me any problems. So I just leave it like that. And so far I actually don't break many bandsaw blades. I mean, I probably will since I just said that, but generally speaking, um, I haven't broke any in a really long time, but I've been using that exact bandsaw for 17 years. So we kind of have an understanding. <laughs> so does anyone ever else ever do that? Like if you have like a piece of equipment for such a long time, like there, there are newer, better bandsaws with, but I like that one. That is, I mean, I've used it so, so, so much. I know all the ins and outs of it that, um, I just couldn't imagine having a different one. So, but anybody else do that with their tools? <laughs> like <laughs> it's my best friend. <laughs> so anyway, this prop is for four laminations and each lamination is three quarters of an inch thick so it's going to be a three inch hub thickness going on a lycoming engine and it's made out of maple and mahogany because it's going on a world war one triplane and most triplanes were had a prop on them made by the axial company in Germany and one of their traits was that all their propellers were made out of um, light and dark lamination so if you do any research on World War One triplanes you'll uh, at least in half the photos there will be light and dark colored lamination so this prop is going to be very period specific for that airplane, which is one of my favorite things to do. And it's nice because mahogany is so easy to work with. It's an absolute dream to sand, but I do have to be careful because when you do match maple and mahogany, your mahogany will sand faster than your maple. So you kind of have to pass over the maple twice and the mahogany once. That seems to be the ratio for keeping your mahogany from dipping. So I'm extremely excited to get this one glued up and get it finished and get it onto the customer and get to see it on the plane that it was specifically designed for. And I'm sure I'll get pictures, so stay tuned and I will try to do a video that shows the rest of this and what it turned out like and hopefully some pictures of it on the customer's plane whenever he's done with his build. So thank you guys for watching and I hope you have a great day.